Hi guys, Anna McManamy here at Lifespan Fitness. Today, we're going to go through some of the key features and differences of our range of elliptical cross trainers to help you decide on the right cross trainer for you. Cross trainers are an increasingly popular option due to their ability to work multiple muscle groups, produce high calorie burn, or while being easier on the joints. There's a lot to consider when it comes to cross trainers, such as choosing between a front or rear drive machine, chain or belt drive train, different flywheel sizes, and so much more. A cross trainer is a machine you're likely going to be spending a lot of time on, so it's important you take the time to find the right fit. We'll be breaking down everything you need to know so you can be confident in the machine you're buying. The biggest visible difference between cross trainers that you may have seen is between front wheel drive versus rear wheel drive. And this is probably one of the most important factors to consider right off the bat when choosing a cross trainer. A rear drive will feature a flywheel at the back, whereas a front drive will feature the flywheel at the front. So let's take a look at some of the key differences between the two. First is the stride feel. This refers to the sensation of the machine's motion. Rear drive cross trainers provide a hopping motion that follows the shape of the user's body and tend to mimic the feeling of walking downhill. Front drive cross trainers, on the other hand, create more of a flatter, natural stride. The smoother motion is created by the dual rollers that run on rails in the rear, providing that extra stability for more intense workouts. This will also be influenced by the stride width, which is the distance between the pedals. Front drive models allow the pedals to be closer together. This mimics a normal walking gait, as most people will naturally walk in a narrow stance. The stride length will also be an important consideration and will be a key component in ensuring your workout is comfortable and effective. You want a stride length that's compatible with your height, with taller users generally requiring a longer stride length. Front drive models tend to offer the largest strides, with the longest being around 50 centimetres in length. Most users should look for at least a 40 centimetre stride length to feel comfortable with. A bonus for rear drive machines is they tend to be a lot smaller, making them a popular option for home gyms. With the increased stride length of front drive models, they tend to take up a lot more space, which may be a drawback for some users. Front drive models will also generally have a higher maximum weight capacity, as the weight is distributed over the rollers rather than the crank of the machine. A higher weight capacity will also provide a smoother, more stable ride. Pedaling backwards may look silly, but it's actually extremely important for targeting a different set of muscle groups than pedaling forward. You'll target more of your glutes and hamstrings when pedaling backwards, while pedaling forwards will target more quads. Look for a cross trainer with reversible motion. All of Lifespan Fitness's cross trainers will feature reversible motion, which allows you to pedal in both a forwards and backwards direction. This gives you more control over your workout and will engage a greater number of muscle groups in your lower body. Understanding the different drivetrain systems is important, especially if noise is a concern for you. The flywheel of the cross trainer will feature one of two drivetrains, chain or belt. Models such as the XO2 Hybrid Cross Trainer feature a chain drive, which is built up of metal components and is similar to the experience of cycling. Chains will produce more noise and won't be as smooth compared to a belt drive. Chains will also require lubrication from time to time. Other models like the XT40 will feature a belt drive, this is a single piece of rubber that creates a smoother rotation while pedaling. An advantage of belt drive trains is no matter how fast you pedal, they will remain completely silent. They also won't require maintenance or replacement and are a great option for those who are concerned about noise in small spaces. The type of drivetrain will go hand in hand with the flywheel weight in determining the smoothness of your ride with a heavier flywheel creating a more consistent motion. A heavier flywheel will take more work to accelerate, but will maintain speed more easily once momentum is built up. This is important when trying to maintain high speeds or sprints, with a bigger flywheel creating a pedaling motion that is less choppy. A lighter flywheel will be easier to accelerate, but pedaling will not be as consistent. Our cross trainer flywheels will come in a variety of weights, starting at five and a half kilos up to 12 kilos, with higher end models generally featuring the heavier flywheels. One of the best ways to adjust the intensity of your workout is to adjust your cross trainer's resistance level. Depending on your machine, resistance can be adjusted in one of two ways. There's mechanical resistance, which is controlled using a twist dial on the machine, and there's variable automatic resistance, or VAR, which allows you to alter resistance on a touch screen or via the handlebars. VAR makes use of magnetic resistance, which has the advantage of being much quieter, smoother, and requiring less maintenance. At the push of a button, VAR commands the high-quality motor to allow for quick, smooth changes on the fly, 
This makes interval training and varied workouts easier, allowing the user to switch between low impact and high intensity cardio sessions. Choosing a machine with high resistance levels available will ensure you can progress to those higher intensity workouts, especially if you're looking to incorporate high intensity interval training. Our cross trainers come with resistance levels ranging from eight all the way up to 32 on our larger front drive models. Not only are VAR cross trainers easy to adjust, the computer adjusted resistance opens up the possibility of workout programs that will adjust the resistance for you. Look out for preset or customizable workout programs that provide structure and purpose to your workout and pushes you to work harder. Another way to increase the intensity of your workout is through incline adjustment. Now generally incline is a feature only found on commercial grade machines, but has recently been made accessible on some high-end cross trainers. Incline is especially useful for developing tone and focused muscle growth as the high resistance simulates climbing up a hill or stairs. Lifespan Fitness's incline cross trainers will feature five levels of incline, giving you the tools to increase your heart rate, burn more calories and create extra work for your leg muscles. Another thing that will differ between cross trainers is frame size. This will affect the sturdiness of the machine to accommodate larger users and more intense workouts. A larger frame will reduce shaking and side-to-side -side wobbling that may occur in more rigorous workouts. This will give the user the peace of mind to accelerate their workout, knowing the machine will be able to handle the added intensity. Having a lighter frame, on the other hand, has the advantage of being more compact and easier to move around. All of our cross trainers feature an LCD display screen with most relaying workout information such as time, speed, distance, calories, heart rate and rotations per minute. These will help you keep track of your workout progress with some models also featuring preset programs to guide you through specific workouts with resistance adjusted automatically. You also have the option for models with an integrated iPad, tablet or book stand to keep yourself entertained during your workouts or to pump music through the built-in speakers. Hybrid trainers have the ability to switch between a cross trainer and exercise bike, allowing you to save space and get more benefits from a single machine. These machines can be used either sitting or standing with an adjustable seat to get the right fit for your body. Some hybrid machines will also come equipped with dumbbells and resistance bands that can be attached and stored on the frame, making them a well-rounded all-in-one exercise machine. All Lifespan Fitness models will come with convenient transport wheels and floor levelers so you can easily adjust your cross trainer to your fitness space. Most models will also come with a handy water bottle holder. When it comes to cross trainers, there's an option to suit just about anyone, whether you're a serious trainer or average user. Elliptical cross trainers provide the best of both worlds, delivering high intensity aerobic training in a safe, low impact workout. The full range of Lifespan Fitness models gives you the choice between different features so you can choose a machine with confidence. Well, that's all from me, but if you have any questions, please reach out to our team and we'll be happy to help you.